Well, it is not Canada Day po ngayon, pero bibigyan ko kayo ng ilang mga fun facts about Canada para nang sa ganun pagdating po natin dito at kapag naninirahan po tayo, kahit pa paano ay hindi naman po tayo zero sa mga basic na knowledge o sa mga basic na, let's say, kakatuwa dito sa Canada. No? So, at uh, kapag narinig nyo ito, ah, this is made in Canada, magiging proud ka rin. Kasi kapag halimbawa nakatira ka na ng matagal dito sa Canada, alam nyo po yung feeling ng patriotism kung nasa Pilipinas ka, parang ganun din po yan. Kasi pinopromote po ng... Uh, Bansa Canada, yung tinatawag nating supporting local. Sinusuportahan po natin yung mga local products natin, yung mga local uh, produce natin, lahat po ng local. Kasi alam po ninyo, malaki ang uh, impact ng pag-promote ng, uh, ng mga local o ng uh, produktong lokal. Lalong-lalo na kung ano yung mga product na nasa community ninyo. Let's say for instance po, ano halimbawa ang Tim Hortons, that is local. At uh, tinatangkilik ito ng mga nandito sa Canada. And thankfully ay nasa Pilipinas na rin ang Tim Hortons at uh, nasa US na rin at sa ibang bahagi ng daigdig. No? Pero kumbaga yung pinakamalaking sales pa rin ay nanggagaling po dito sa Canada. So ibig sabihin, that is local, nagpopromote tayo ng product na ganun dahil alam natin na makapagbibigay ito ng mas maraming trabaho sa mga susunod na panahon na pinakikinabangan naman po ng mga kababayan natin. Marami tayong mga kababayang Filipino ang nagtatrabaho po sa Tim Horton. So simulan po natin yung fan facts about Canada. So yung pag-uusap po natin ngayon ay hinalaw natin sa CIC News. May 16 interesting facts about Canada to celebrate Canada Day na naisulat po ni Ashish Samosapeta noong July 1st, 2024. Sabi niya po dito, July 1st, 2024 marks Canada Day signifying 157 years since the passing of the Confederation Act and the country's formal creation. Every year, this day is filled with celebrations throughout Canada, including parades, fireworks, concerts, picnics, and much more. Did you know that for more than 100 years, Canada Day used to be called Dominion Day? To commemorate this uh, year's Canada Day, CIC News has compiled the following list interesting and lesser-known facts about the country. So, bibigay ko po sa inyo yung 16 fan facts about Canada. Labing anim po ito. Tignan po natin. Number one, 23% of Canada's population is foreign-born. Canada has boosted one of the world's most diverse population owing largely to progressive immigration policies that date back at least 1967. Number two, Canada is so big it occupies six time zones. Canada is the second largest country in the world. It's spanning over 9.9 .9 million square kilometer or 3.8 million square miles. In addition, the country also boosts the world's longest coastline spanning 243,042 kilometers or 151.19 miles. The time zones are Pacific Standard Time, Mountain Standard Time, Central Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time, Atlantic Standard Time, New Finland Standard Time. Number three, Canada has a museum for immigration located at Pier 21 in Halifax, Nova Scotia. The Canadian Museum of Immigration is Canada's sixth national museum packed with features, exhibitions, and events. The museum tracks over 400 years of immigration to Canada, telling the stories of Canada's immigrants. Museum goers can even trace their own family history of immigration through Canada with the help of Scotiabank Family Center. Number four, Canada has the largest moose population in the world. While Canada's national animal is the beaver, the country is often noted for each other wildlife as well, including polar bears, wolves, narwhals, and of course, moose. The country boosts the world's mightiest moose population, ranging from half million to one million individuals nationally. Moose can be found in almost every province and territory in Canada. Number five, Canada's national sport is hockey and lacrosse. While often associated with the sport of hockey, Canada actually has two national sports. Per the National Sports of Canada Act, while ice hockey is recognized as Canada's national winter sport, lacrosse is the country's national summer sport of Canada. Number six, surprising Canadians. 
while only boosting a population of 41 million population or people, Canadians can often be found at the apex of their fields across industries and subjects. Some examples of influential people you might not guess are Canadians are Alexander Graham Bell, James Cameron, Guy Lalbert, the founder of the Cirque du Soleil, Joni Mitchell, Elliot Page, Shania Twain, Margaret Atwood, and James Naismith, the creator of Basketball. Number seven, over half of the world's lakes are in Canada. Canada boosts more lakes than anywhere in the world. In fact, according to Statistics Canada, the country has access to over 20% of the world's surface fresh water and 7% of the world's renewable water flow. Canada is estimated to be home of the close 2 million lakes. Among these lakes is Pequacha, Maikos Kwak, Wise Pinwanik. A lake located in the province of Manitoba. Medyo <laughs> nakakabulol. Number 8. Canada's national parks are larger than many countries. 38 national parks are contained within Canada, spanning more than 340,000 square kilometers in total. This massive land must cover approximately 3% of the country's total land mass. So, ang laki po nito. Ano? National parks po yan, ano? Kumbaga, mas malaki pa yung national parks kaysa doon sa residential. Number 9, 90% of Canadians live within 100 miles of the U.S.-Canada border. While literally the second largest country in the world, Canada is also densely populated relative of its overall size. 90% of Canada's population or 36.9 million people live within just 100 kilometers above or of the country's southern border. Kami po halimbawa ay nasa more than 100 kilometers lang po mula sa US uh, Canada border. Number 10, Canada is the second most educated country in the world. According to data from the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development uh, or OECD, Canada has the second most educated population in the world. It measures the proportion of the population that have completed tertiary education, which is defined as the proportion of the population that has completed that highest level of education by any group. Number 11, Canada produces most of the world's maple syrup. In 2021, Canada produced more than 100 million kilograms of maple syrup nationally. The country boosts over 6,000 maple farms and more than 54 million maples taps cumulatively, making it a powerhouse in the world of maple syrup production. Number 12, Canada has the longest street in the world. The Young Street is located in Toronto, Canada, and boost to the title of the longest street in the world, named after Sir George Young, the former British Secretary of War. The street is one of the oldest in all Canada, dating as far as 1794. 13. The coldest ever temperature recorded in Canada was negative 63 degrees Celsius, recorded in 1947 at the village of Snag in the Yukon Territory. Canada's coldest ever recorded temperature was negative 63 degrees Celsius or negative 81.4 degrees Fahrenheit. For reference, according to the Government of Canada, at negative 27 degrees Celsius, individual risk wind burn, excessive dryness, redness, or soreness due to the wind eroding the top layer of oil on the skin, frostbite, and hypothermia. 14. Canada has a $1 million coin. <laughs> the aptly named Big Maple Leaf is the gold coin produced by the Royal Canadian Mint in 2007 and valued at $1 million Canadian dollar. In fact, the Royal Mint created five of these coins at their Ottawa facility. 15. Canadian innovation throughout their history. Canadians have made significant contributions to the world through the inventions and innovations they pioneered. Some of the most impact Canadians' inventions include Java programming language or yung JavaScript na alam na alam natin, sonar, the alkaline battery, the garbage bag, insulin, the artificial cardiac pacemaker, film colorization, 
the ambrosia apple na gusto gusto natin kasi matamis. The California roll, alam natin yan, sushi. And Hawaiian pizza, ano hindi gawa sa Hawaii kundi sa Canada. <laughs> Number 16, Canada and Denmark had been at war from 1973 to 2022. The whiskey war, also known as the liquor war, is a bloodless war between the king of Denmark and Canada over Hans Island. Between 1973 and 2022, the islands was disputed between Canada and Denmark throughout ever resulting in direct conflict of violence. So nakakatawa na malaman natin yung mga ilang bagay na nakita nyo na ay ilan lamang sa mga bagay na nakakatawa dito sa Canada na matatagpuan ninyo. At uh, masasabi ninyo pagdating ng araw na Ah, alam ko yan kasi narinig ko na. No? So, mas maganda pa rin na kahit paano may kaunti tayong knowledge at uh, alam natin, knowledge is power. Hindi po ba? Hindi tayong paglalalangan. Kung baga, mapaglilinlangan. Hindi tayong malilin lang ng kapwa natin. And at the same time, you have the pride na na ipagmalaki na nakatira ka na dito sa Canada. Ah, si Graham Bell pala ay taga-Canada. Ah, ang basketball pala ay originated actually from Canada sa YMCA facility. Parang ganon. So, alam natin kahit pa paano pag dating ng panahon. Siyempre, pagdating ng panahon, parang masasabi mo na na ah, imbibe na sa akin ng Canada o kaya naman kahit pa paano may kaalaman ako na nalalaman in terms of Canadian fan facts. So, maraming maraming salamat po at kita-kita po tayo sa mga susunod. Magkakas sa muli po paalam.